A Cobb County man who spent years claiming to be an elite Navy SEAL comes face to face with the truth and the Fox 5 IT. Bob McDaniel runs a business teaching self-defense classes in Metro Atlanta, but Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis says his real skill is dabbling in thriller fiction writing. Randy? That's right, Marissa and Russ. Yeah, talk about creative writing. It's hard to imagine one person could be all the things Bob McDaniel claims he is. Harmless fun, you might say. Well, here's why lying about your military record can cause pain. For Reagan Hughes, this picture represents one of the best days of his 14-year-old life. While celebrating the Navy's birthday last month at Semper Fi Bar and Grill in Woodstock, the high school sea cadet shook hands with a rear admiral and former SEAL, who he says promised to one day help Reagan get into the Naval Academy. It was like, I just met an admiral and like was super pumped about it. One month later, the Admiral met the Fox 5 I team. You really want to go back inside here after we've caught you lying about your military record? You want to go back in this I'm bar with all these military people? Bob McDaniel is 71. He's not a Navy Admiral. In fact, the military told us there's no record of him being in the Navy. Just six years in the Marine Corps Reserve starting in 1967 and ending as an E-5 Sergeant radio telegraph operator. According to what the military sent us, McDaniel spent no time in Vietnam. But that's not what people are told who pay for his self-defense classes. He did two tours in Vietnam in the Marines. He flew jets for them. He does special ops for the CIA. That's Arlene Johnson, McDaniel's girlfriend and business partner in a company they call Security Against Forced Encounters, or SAFE. They charge up to $30 a head for self-defense classes held around Metro Atlanta. They also sell mini flashlights and bamboo weapons. I'm not that interesting to begin with. I'm not sure where she got all this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The real challenge is trying to keep track of all of McDaniel's dramatic adventures. I've been to Syria with Delta in, in an operation, and we had to extract two people, and we had to go after two other targets. I'm still a uh, still a SEAL. I've been for 20, 20 some odd years. And he even says he helped with the killing of ISIS leader El Baghdadi. Did you train any of those guys? I did. Did yeah, you? Did. They, they, so, come, they yeah. participated in the Delta Force. Yes. Wow. The uh, I was involved in in part of the operational stuff for that. I, that's where I was. I got. I, it was pretty interesting, really. I got to meet the president and uh, I got to shake his hand and and say hello. And and we were in another situational room, and he was in what they call their situ war room situational room. Yep, he said the situational room. So we waited until November 10th, the birthday of the Marine Corps, to see whether McDaniel would show up again at that Woodstock restaurant. Sure enough. Hey, excuse me. Understand that uh, you got a pretty uh, storied uh, military record. Uh, what do you think of uh, the Marine Corps birthday today? Well, I think it's wonderful. You know, 244 years of the Marine Corps simplify. And you flew jets in the in the Vietnam War? I did. I did. I flew the A6B. I flew the Prowler. And you also became a Navy SEAL? I did. I did. Why are you lying about your military record, Bob? Well, I would never lie about my military record. Well, this is your DD-214. You never actually served in Vietnam. Why, why are you lying? Come on, tell us the truth now. Instead, he beat a retreat for his car. Restaurant owner Ralph Roger said over the years, customers impressed with his stories had offered to pick up McDaniel's check. Last month was the first time he wore a uniform. I was like, really? A rear admiral? But I wasn't going to question him right there in front of God and everybody. So now that you know the truth, what do you think of him? Well, I'm thinking his girlfriend sitting in there right now wondering where he is. That's completely insane of someone to do because like most of his freedoms, all of his freedoms wouldn't be a thing without the people he was impostering. And that makes me mad. I feel totally deceived because I, up to this point, I respected the man. You said that you were up there in Washington no, no. when the El Baghdadi raid took place. No. You're, you're everywhere. Excuse me. When are you gonna start telling the truth, Bob? In a later phone call, McDaniel finally told the truth, admitting all those military exploits were fiction. He apologized and said the idea of wearing a Navy Admiral's uniform that day was to honor his late father, who had served in the Navy. Problem is that his dad was not an Admiral either.
Oh my. Yeah, sad and embarrassing. It doesn't make a lot of sense when you consider he talked about three different services. But in any event, what do you have coming up tomorrow? Tomorrow night at 10, I'll, I'll tell you, this story started with a tip from a man named Don Shipley. Don is a retired Navy SEAL, the real McCoy, and he has sort of made it a second career now of outing fake SEALs. So tomorrow night at 10, we'll be there when he meets Mr. McDaniel, and he's gonna tell us why Georgia is the biggest state in the country, he says, for fakes, for fake military people. No kidding. Mm -hmm. wow, tomorrow just, night at 10. Just fascinating, looking forward to it. Okay. Thanks so much, Randy. See you. Thanks, Randy.